try to make this short and sweet. If you've got an old town, just like I do, with this control knob for steering, this knob breaks off super easy, and mine did. Just caught on my shirt, broke off. Uh, ripped out the, the brass insert on this one here. Just came out of the plastic like it was nothing. To fix it, pry off this sticker. I've already done it. It's still kind of sticky. Pry that off. And this nut will be underneath. I've already removed it. The other side is a washer and a nut you'll have to remove. So here's the little brass insert that comes out of the plastic, like super easy. Just rips right out like nothing. That's the stock screw that goes with it. It's going to be a little bit too short. Go to Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever, and get a another stainless steel one, an inch and a quarter long. That's a one. This is an inch and a quarter. They're cheap, and I get a... Uh, a quarter twenty nut to go with it. Not a nylock, just a regular nut. And a little bit of thread locker. So I dropped the ball, but normally if the cap were on there, you would pop that off by sticking that down through the top of the ball and it just comes right off and separates the two halves. So use the uh, quarter twenty down through the center of that and the uh, quarter 20 nut fits right down inside of there I've already got that one in there but you can see the bolt will just pull it right down into the plastic it's a real snug fit and it'll it'll hold itself and I just use some blue thread locker and it'll never come off again I'm just going to snap the, the top back on and reassemble it. Super easy. Cost me about 45 cents for the nut and bolt. That's it. These two parts. Inch and a quarter, quarter 20 is the size. Quarter 20 nut. Stainless steel. A little bit of thread locker. You can do it almost for free.